Hi guys, this is Stephanie. Welcome to Stephanie's Journey. For those of you who are here for the very first time, welcome. And for those of you returning, welcome back. If you have not been here before, I would love to have you as part of the Stephanie's Journey's family. Just click on that subscribe button below as well as the notification button beside that so that you don't miss any of my videos in the near future. Today I am doing a double chocolate brownie cookie. Uh, I'm making a very small batch because I don't eat a lot of sweets, but I am craving some chocolate and I want to make these cookies. If you want to make them, the description, I mean the recipe is in the description box below. Just double it, triple it, quadruple it, whatever you want to do. It makes four big cookies or you can make um, about eight little small cookies. So however you want to do it. But if you're interested, then stick around and stay tuned. Okay, guys. Let's go over what the ingredients are for this recipe. I have a fourth a cup of sugar in a row, a fourth of cup of all-purpose flour. We have here uh, one tablespoon of oil. I'm using grapeseed oil, but you can use any neutral oil of your choice. This is two tablespoons of vegan butter. This is one and a half tablespoons of cocoa. This is a fourth a cup of vegan chocolate chips. This is an eighth a ta uh, teaspoon of vanilla. And this is one eighth. This is an eighth a teaspoon of salt, baking powder, baking soda, and cinnamon. And we're going to mix all of this together and make our cookies. Preheat your oven at 350 degrees. And we're going to start with an empty bowl here. And we're going to start with our wet ingredients first. And some people do wet first. Some people do dry first. I, it really don't matter. I've done both. It really don't make that much of a difference in my world. Maybe professional bakers say differently, but I'm not professional. So that is the wet. Mix the sugar in with that. And the vanilla. Oops. I like to make a mess per usual. Now do the salt, the baking soda, baking powder, and cinnamon. And you can use regular sugar or brown sugar if you want to. I just always have sugar in the raw, so that's what I use. And it'll keep the chunks in there. Um, if you don't like the graininess of the raw sugar, and if you had it and you want to use it, you can pop this in the microwave for about 30 seconds and it'll dissolve the sugar. But it doesn't bother me. I did put it in the microwave to dissolve the uh, butter. It's a little piece of still in it. It's not dissolved. But whatever floats your boat. Now we're adding the flour. The cocoa. And you really don't need this much uh, chocolate chips, but I like a lot of chocolate chips in my cookies. If you're going to make chocolate chip cookies, oh, no, these not chocolate chips. But if you're going to make chocolate cookies, then you might as well go for it. And I need a double dose of chocolate. So... And you can mix some in and then just save some to go on the top. Because it is a lot. I know this. But that's how we do around here. See how choppy that is? Look just like a brown and you can eat it just like this by itself. You really can. And I have my oven already on. Usually I just cook these in my toaster oven, but I made a cake today for somebody. 
So my oven is already on, so I'm just gonna use my oven. But I do have a little itty bitty pan that I bake in my toaster oven in. And I'm gonna use that today. Because I mean it's you can make two gigantic cookies, you can make four cookies, um whatever you want. I make four little small cookies. Well not small but for a regular size cookie, but you can make little teeny little cookies. It's whatever, however you want them. I just, if I make a whole batch, I'm going to eat a whole batch. And that's unhealthy for me. Because I'm diabetic. So, they ain't going to be even. Some going to be bigger than others. You need a little bit more. I'll come back and get you. And they're going to be gooey. These are gooey cookies. They're not hard, dry cookies. They will be gooey. FYI, if you don't like gooey cookies, then it's probably not the recipe for you. But I am a gooey cookie eater. I like my cookies cake-like. Soft bake. I'm not particularly fond of hard cookies. Oops. As you can see the oil when you're patting them out. And they're not going to do too much spreading. They will spread. But not to that extent. And I'm going to get all of it out. Let, let no crumb be left behind. And then we're going to bake these for about 12 to 15 minutes. Just depending on your altitude and your oven. But I put it on 350. Let's do it like just in case they do spread a little bit. They'll have some room to not run into each other. But they usually don't spread. Then I'm going to stick a few on the top and then eat the rest <laughs> I'm craving chocolate y'all alright that is it Let's take it to the oven. All right. Oven. Now, so put them in the oven on 350. Now we'll set the timer for 13 minutes because if you set the oven, the whole oven goes off. So we're on 13 minutes and we'll check them then once the timer goes off, so stay tuned. All right, let's check on the cookies. I think they're done. Take them out the oven. We'll set them right there and let them dry. And we'll come back for a taste test once they cool off just a little bit. So stay tuned. All right, it's time for our taste test. These cookies are done. They are soft. So let's give it a taste test. Mmm, just a perfect, perfect, perfect soft baked cookie. Hit that chocolate spot if you're craving chocolate. Mmm, and you still get that um, grind of the sugar. 
because you're using the raw sugar so it's thick it don't dissolve perfect dunk it in some almond milk or some regular milk if you drink that I can't anymore mm. and that hint of cinnamon with the chocolate mmm been waiting all day for these things anyway thank you guys for stopping by my channel i hope you enjoyed the video and i look forward to seeing you all in my very next video <laughs> bye bye i'm trying not to eat all four of them mm.